Okay, first check day. Well, this really good first run, I actually went through them already <laughs> just to take a peek at all the traps. This first one, this good looking one, just has a muskrat in it, which, you know, I'll take, but it's not like that's what I really want. At least it's a big one. Yeah, that's a really nice rat. So. And beaver can still move through there and it looks like it was pushed down to the bottom. Something might have came through after. Looks like there's some new air bubbles in here. So, you know, that happens. I'll go over these other traps real quick. I didn't show this one yesterday because the camera work was absolutely horrid, but I put one in this just little run area along the dam. This one down here in the at, below the main dam was set off, but nothing was really messed up. It was just set off right where it was and laid down. So, you know, I think the beaver Maybe a muskrat set it off, or maybe the beaver tried to climb over it or something. So all I did was, if you can see down there, I put a dive stick over the top. That kind of, you know, helps them just make, make them dive better. And then the two ones that I really liked up there had nothing. So seems like the beaver didn't move much last night and it was a warmer night, so that makes sense. A lot of times they'll move once it starts getting cold or cold nights they'll move. You get the warm up, sometimes they'll just kind of chill until you get later in the winter and then it's kind of the opposite. But I'm actually going to, I'm going to get that muskrat out. I'm going to bring two more traps because I got more traps. I'm going to put one here like I wanted to yesterday but forgot it. And then I'm going to put another one just down there in the creek not going to show those but i'm going to show the trap for that so see you guys tomorrow all right back at this beaver lodge that i set up in the last video so last check all we had was the muskrat and this one the same trap has something in it, it doesn't look too big but it does look like a beaver so we'll chop it out through the ice but it's a nice two-year-old which is kind of what I thought would be in here since it's a new lodge but anyways we'll get this one out and then reset it hopefully there's hopefully there's one more two-year-old or even an adult in here all right here's a quick look at the beaver out of the trap just a I don't know 40 pound two-year-old so this trap's reset. The other six traps that are out here had nothing in them. Um, nothing was disturbed or anything. So this might be the only beaver in here, but we're probably gonna leave this out for one more check. So it'll either, either be tomorrow or a two day check. I haven't decided yet, but I'm leaning towards a two day check. And then if I have nothing in that check, I'll just assume that since these traps are in really good spots around here, I'll, I'll just assume that there's no more beavers here. And then, We'll pull them so see you guys in the next check all right guys so third check at this lodge um, had the muskrat the first day the two-year-old beaver yesterday and then another small muskrat today but this is why magnum traps work well because you get those muskrats that set them off so they're 
is definitely new activity here, so I know there's another beaver. This being the best run right here, but it, I'm gonna set a second trap here because the one keeps getting set off by muskrat, so I'm not sure if it gets set off and then the beaver comes through. So I'm gonna set two here at the or below the dam. There's the one of the ones down there got set off for the second time. So I'm gonna change up some trap locations here and we'll be back tomorrow to show you what I do with those. All right, back at this beaver lodge. Fifth check, I believe. Got two muskrat and the 40 pound two year old and nothing again. So I walk along this, this dam here when I check and sometimes it, it kind of gets messed up. Holes kind of start leaking in it. And every time I'm back here, those holes are patched up with fresh mud. So I know there's another beaver in here. I don't think it's big because I have all the surrounded areas blocked off and it doesn't seem to be going up there. There was two 330s set off below the dam. They could have been muskrat. They also could have been the beaver. So maybe this final beaver is just this trap shy now. Anyways, I'm going up north to go fishing the next couple days. So I will be pulling these traps, maybe come back to get this one later, but eh, who knows? See if I have the time. It's only one beaver, so might just target some other spots. Anyways, thanks you guys for watching. I'm gonna go back to the house now, and actually I've been saving a bunch of the beaver fat, the bigger chunks from all these beaver I've been catching, and I'm gonna be rendering it down in the crock pot into some lard for cooking various stuff with, so. Keep watching if you want to see that. Otherwise, we're going to get out of here. All right, we're back at the house and we're just going to we're going to render some lard for some from some beaver fat. So, let's just get right into it. No need to mess around. Crock pot and a big bucket of fat. So, these are just trimmings like when I'm skinning it, you find the huge pieces of fat. I'll just trim them off and I just threw them in the freezer over the course of the last week and a half from beaver trapping and this is what I got. I mean, it's a ton, so got a plate here. I'm just going to I'm just going to throw them on the plate and just start cutting them up into small pieces. All right, we're all sliced up and I mean, this is way more fat than I thought it was. This is like close to 10 pounds of fat. So, in the crock pot, add a little water to it and all I'm going to do is put the lid on start her up put it on low whoa and then stir stir it as much as I can and it should just start rendering out fat so I don't know we'll see how it goes we'll be back to check it out all right it is sizzling away it's looking kind of yellow but that's normal from what I've read uh, at least from what I've read about most lards. I mean, couldn't find any recipes on beaver lard. Big surprise, right? So we are going to start ladling some of this out. It's been going for about 10 hours now. But I'm just going to mason jar with a cheesecloth over it. We're going to get out a good amount and just keep letting it go, honestly. Not bad so far. It's pretty, uh, uh, it's a little cloudy, but whatever. So we're gonna just let, keep letting this go in, keep stirring it up, keep uh, filtering it out just like that, and see how much I can get, and we'll come back at the end, take a look at her. All right, guys, it's getting kind of late here, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Usually I'd be asleep by now, but. I definitely did not do it the best way. I should have ground this up in my meat grinder. 
honestly, but I just didn't. I wanted to just cut it up because my meat grinder doesn't handle fat that well. So I'll do that next time. If I do this again, honestly, it wasn't that big a deal because I don't even know if it's going to be that good. This, it's still filtering a little bit, but that's how much I got. And that's actually quite a bit. That's a, getting close to that. A half a pint this is a pint mason jar so those half pint jars are kind of typically what you put these in so it would almost fill up a whole jar so that's not bad but next time definitely gonna grind up the meat and do the same thing if it's good so I'm gonna throw up a picture of what it looks like in the morning after it's been in the fridge and um, solidified to see what color it is hopefully it's more white than yellowish but it'll probably be yellowish which is fine for frying stuff up in. We are actually gonna test this out. I'm gonna be testing out, it's gonna be a couple days from now. I'm going up doing some winter camping and some ice fishing, so if you wanna see what I think of it and how it works out, look for the next ice fishing catch and cook and that is when I'll be using it. Anyways, like, subscribe, do whatever the heck you want. I'll see you guys in the next one.